Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. AppsEvents.com, the place for all your tips and tricks videos. So let's go ahead and add another one to it. This time, we're going to be going back into Google Forms, looking at those pre-filled links from last time, but I'm going to show you how you can generate many different links all at once. So let's get started. Here, I have a spreadsheet and this spreadsheet has all the information I would like to see pre-filled in that special link. So here we go. We have a demo student, John Smith, Neil McDonald, Hector Santos, Rona Campbell, all these different students. And I want to really help them save time. So let's create that pre-filled link and then let's tweak it a little bit. So let's go ahead and open up our survey form. Here we have our survey. You can see the first question is a name, year group, and schoolhouse. Let's click on those three dots. This brings us to the pre-filled link. And I'm going to fill this out. So I'm going to just, as a name, say demo. Then the year group, I'm going to select year six. What is the house? I'm going to select green. Do you have a pet? I'm going to leave that blank, leave that blank. And then who is your teacher? I'm going to pre-fill that with my name. We're going to click on get link and copy that link. Now, if you're unsure on how to use this pre-filled link, go and check out our previous video. If you've got this, let's go ahead and jump into our sheet to automatically generate many more pre-filled hyperlinks. We're going to open up our spreadsheet and you can see here on the right hand side, I will put that pre-filled link. Now, the first step will be to use a function. That a function is going to be a hyperlink function. That hyperlink is going to enable me to turn a very long link into a very short little snippet of text. So let's go ahead and type equals hyperlink and then open that function. We're going to have to use our quotation marks here. So double quotes, pop that URL, close it with the double quotes, comma, and then the next thing will be the label or what we want people to click on. So click here and then again, close those quotes. We will now have a really neat looking clickable URL. So you can see here when I click on that, it automatically brings me to that pre-filled demo form. But now how do I change the actual answers on this survey and how do I use my data on that spreadsheet in my link. Well, that's where we're going to have to tweak our link a little bit. We're going to go back to our Google Sheet and let's just make sure that we can see that special link up at the top. Now we are going to take the data from these columns and pop them into our link. So let's go ahead and change our link. Now here, when you examine this link, you'll spot a couple of things. The first thing you'll spot is that we see where it says demo. We also see that it here says year six, it says green and many more things. Well, those are the things that we will be replacing. So let's replace the demo with our student name. So we're going to open up those double quotes. There we go, quote quotes. Now we're going to put two and signs. So and, and, and then in between these, we're going to place the cell reference. Now, where are we getting the names from? We're getting them from A2. So that's where that cell reference will come from. Same for the year six. We're going to again replace year six with those quotes, quotes. In between those we put and, and, and in between those we put that cell reference, which in this case will be B2. And then we do the same for the other answers. We can do that for every pre-filled answer. Same for the name of the teacher, quotes, quotes, in between those quotes, we're going to be putting and, and, and in between those, we put the reference D2. Now you'll see that we have this link. So let's go ahead and preview this. We're going to click on it. This will pre-fill or pre-populate all the answers that we filled out. You can see it says that teacher name now. And the great thing about Google Sheets is automation. So now I'm going to simply drag this down it's automatically going to take all the information from the columns here to the left and create those different forms. So let's go ahead and check this. I'm going to click on that. We have different answers here with a different teacher. Let's go ahead to another form. 
This one will be a year eight May Taurus. So let's go ahead and click on that form. There we go. Student name has been filled out. We have a different year group and we also see a different teacher. Let's go ahead and click on the next one. There we go. Again, we see that student name. We see a different year group and the teacher. This is a way that you can create many pre-filled URLs all at the same time by simply using a combination of that pre-filled link and Google Sheets. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel or visit the website appsavance.com for even more tips and tricks. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.